Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and start this review. This is my very first product review, so please bear with me because, like I said, this is all new to me. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this new concealer that I just recently purchased, actually, I want to say maybe like four days ago, and it is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum concealer which is this one right here um, I haven't thrown the box away because I wanted to show you guys what the box looks like and all of that good stuff you know what I mean all right hold up oh, dude I always have locals I've been in search for a new concealer because I switch off from using different concealers I like to switch it up because sometimes I get tired of the one that I'm using the one that I was using prior to this one was um, the derma color and it comes in like this little cup thingy and it's very dramatic um, derma color is usually a makeup cosmetic line that drag queens wear because it's very dramatic but I love how it highlights my face and I originally went in to get the NARS creamy concealer I believe that's what it's called um, and because I've heard lots of people raving about it and keep in mind that I was looking for a concealer to highlight not to actually conceal and the custard color was exactly my skin color so it would be good just to kind of do like for an everyday but it wasn't gonna highlight so I tried it on and it was just it was not working for me and I it was kind of expensive so I was like I need something to highlight not to just conceal so one of the workers there at Sephora I went to the Sephora in Riverside shout out to you guys my hometown she told me about the bare minerals bare skin concealer and she was like you have to try it it's really good she was like, i know it sounds kind of like whack because who wears bare minerals you know bare minerals is like bare as fuck and you can't really tell that you're wearing it i haven't really looked into all their products but you guys know the infomercials and it's so funny because when i was little i used to watch that all the time and they would convince me every single time but I was obviously a little girl and I would tell my mom like mom like can you buy it or buy it for you you know because it works but anyways so she told me to get the color fair so they have six colors in this concealer um and the reason why I fell in love with it right from the start when I first saw it the display and everything is that two of the colors I believe were very yellow toned my skin tone is yellow toned so yellow toned concealers or foundations or anything like that suit me very very well i got the color fair and it retails for twenty dollars this is my first time buying a high-end concealer i usually stick to drugstore concealers i have three drugstore concealers that i use um one of them is including the maybelline fit me but they don't have a yellow toned light concealer that I can highlight with. So, um, yeah, anyway, so this concealer, um, I'm reading the product info that um, Sephora has displayed on there. So it says what it is. A silky smooth complete coverage concealer and serum formula. What it does. A silky smooth complete coverage concealer and serum in one bare skin complete coverage serum concealer is designed to provide remarkable coverage with its ultralight texture. It instantly, it instantly reduces the appearance of dark circles, discoloration, and other imperfections for a beautifully even toned complexion. And it just says like a whole bunch of shit. But anyways, so I never really like to read on products a lot because I'd rather try it and then I'll be able to see how the concealer wears throughout the day, um, how it covers, whether it blends out nicely or not. Um, I prefer to use concealers that blend out with a beauty blender that is dry. For some reason, when I would use it wet, it kind of like absorbed too much of the products. Um, so I tried it the other day with uh, the beauty blender to be dry and it worked so much better so if you want to get more coverage out of your concealer or foundation or anything like that you should use your beauty blender dry but if you're kind of going for a more dewy um, not so full coverage look then use your beauty blender wet so yeah I tried it out obviously I'm wearing it right now and I fell in love with it right away. One, because it is super creamy. It's more creamier than the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And if you guys have tried that one, you guys know that it's thebomb.com. It does live up to what the description says. And I'm telling you guys this 
based off of personal experience. I've been using this for, I'd say a total of four times and it takes for me to fall in love with the product. I literally have to use it one time, maybe two times for me to see if I like it or not. This is actually going to be a concealer that I decide to repurchase. Um, so I would totally recommend for you guys to check this out. It retails for $20 and it comes with 6 ml uh, 0.20 fluid ounces. So let me show you guys what it looks like. I got the color fair and what I love about it is that it is small. I love concealers that come in a tube and it has a little, I don't know what these little applicators are called, but I love, I just, I love these ones. These are my favorite. It smells like nothing. Usually foundations or concealers have a, some type of scent going on with them, but mm -mm, this one doesn't. So if you guys are looking for something to wear for every day, I would recommend this one but obviously get a shade that matches your skin color um, or if you want to highlight and conceal at the same time which is what I did on myself go ahead and choose one that is lighter than your skin tone let me zoom you guys in to show you um, what the consistency looks like and how it blends out it blends out beautifully um, don't mind my veins I just started weight training today um, again so whenever I start to weight train, for some reason, my veins get like that. So disgusting. Anyways, so that is one swatch of the um, concealer. If you notice, it is very full coverage. So it is a full coverage concealer. If you guys want to thin out the um, concealer and make it a more lighter wearing concealer and not so thick, um, again, you can use a beauty blender that is wet, but if you want to achieve even fuller coverage than the concealer already, you can go ahead and use the beauty blender dry. So this is what it blends out to. So a little bit does go a long way, but I love for my concealers to um, be applied heavily because you guys know that I love to do dramatic looks, but if I'm doing something natural, one little swipe will do the job for underneath see look it's still going and it's still going and it gives you time to blend it out so for those of you guys who are up in the house for doing their makeup and you don't know how to blend your shit out this is a good concealer because look it's still creamy but make sure to go ahead and set it um, because if you don't set it it's going to crease even more um, so like I said if you want to shear it out you just keep blending it out and if you want more coverage then just kind of like don't blend it out as much if that makes sense so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think obviously in the comments down below you guys voice your opinions anyways good bad whatever just leave them down below um, and let me know what products you guys want me to try next let me know what concealers you guys like and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.